230,000 people died when a 10,000-year storm breached the Banqiao Dam and poured a titanic flood across China's Henan province in August 1975. The collapse happened in the midst of the Cultural Revolution, and the Chinese Communist Party quickly covered up the incident. Widespread awareness of the event would not come until 1987, when a state reporter wrote a book about it. There are a lot of videos made by those with bigger audiences than mine that went over what happened. You can watch them if you want to get updated on it. Those videos tend to focus on the floods, the deaths, and the cover-up that happened afterwards, and maybe the construction of the dam itself. Of course that's important. But for this brief video, I want to explore a different angle. Why the dam failed, how it failed, and what is to be learned from it. The disaster took part in central China, in the Zhu Ma Dian prefecture of Henan province. The two major rivers here are the Hong and the Ru rivers. They both pour into the Huai River, which in turn flows into the mighty Yangtze. The government built the Banqiao Dam in 1952 on the Ru River. The dam was intended to help control floods there. After a second renovation four years later, engineers felt confident that it could sustain a thousand-year flood. The dam wall itself was about 117.64 meters high and 2 kilometers wide. It's made of earth fill with a clay core. Its reservoir held a capacity of 492 million cubic meters of water. During flood season, 375 million cubic meters is flushed to handle runoff. The dam discharged water through three ways. A primary spillway with the most capacity, a supplemental spillway with the medium most capacity, and a third conduit with the least capacity. Together the dam could discharge a maximum of 3,092 cubic meters of water per second. The typhoon on that fateful night dumped more water in a 24-hour period, 1,060 millimeters, than the Dumandien prefecture got in an average year, 800 to 1,000 millimeters. The rainstorm acted in an unpredictable manner, which made operating the dam extremely challenging. On August 5th, it dumped 448 millimeters, which is a lot. 7,500 cubic meters of water per second flowed into the dam reservoir. Just a reminder, the dam is rated to discharge a maximum of just 3,000 per second. Technicians opened up the primary spillway to do so. At the end of the day, 7 p.m. on August 5th, the reservoir level was 107.87 meters. Remember, the dam wall was 117 meters tall. After that first day, it was already near the spillover event. The day after that, August 6th, the rainstorm did 190 millimeters, not a lot. Inflow dropped. The technicians already had the primary discharge open. They also opened the conduit, the third largest water discharge. The secondary was left closed. The next day, suddenly, the rains ramped up hard to 748 millimeters. The dam took in 13,000 cubic meters of water per second. The reservoir level rose to 114.79 meters. At 11 p.m. on August 7th, the reservoir hit 117 meters and the Banqiao Dam began to fail. It took two hours for the Banqiao Dam to fail. It first began with water spilling over or through the dam which started happening at 1.30 a.m. on August 8th. Because the dam was mostly made of dirt and soil, the fast-moving water pouring over it began to rapidly erode down the wall. The dam break grew and grew, with more water passing through the break. The dam breach finally ended at 7 a.m., with a breach taking over 10 hours in total. Over a million cubic meters of earth had been washed away by the rains leading to massive mud flows downstream. The 1975 rainstorm dumped 697 million cubic meters of water into the Banqiao Dam Reservoir. Note the capacity. The reservoir only had 492 million. The Banqiao had been raided for a 1 in 1,000 year flood. Typhoon Nina in 1975 brought forth a 1 in 10,000 year flood. Combined with the failure of a smaller but similar dam, the Zhu Guo, the Banqiao Dam collapse started a chain reaction that washed away 24 smaller earthen dams and killed the 230,000 people. 
The death toll would have been worse had not two other dams further downstream, the Boshan and the Suyahe, held on and survived the floods. It was extremely close. The Suyahe Dam had been within just 0.34 meters, or 1.1 feet, of tipping over. This is the failure risk that dam systems like the Three Gorges and the Banqiao pose to engineers. Together, the Dumai Dam Prefecture Dam System should have had enough sufficient capacity for a major storm. But when concentrated rains at one dam caused it to fail, the chain reaction could not be stopped. And then people died. Alright everyone, have a good evening. Take care of yourself.